subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates hello friends the impasse with respect to disengagement and deescalation in eastern ladakh continues in today's column i discuss the likely pattern of attack in high altitude should escalation take place in the traditional pattern of defense and attack in high altitude the infantry occupies impregnable heights and prepares permanent defenses the attacking infantry is forced to attack uphill uphill movement in high altitude is very laborious and time consuming the attacking enemy is forced to use overwhelming force fight a step by step battle to close up to the defenses locate them and then destroy or kill uh, destroy the defenses and kill the enemy soldiers the attacker is forced to resort to this pattern because the means available for surveillance and reconnaissance up to about a decade ago could not accurately locate the defenses the artillery and air power were used as area weapons which had limited effect in high altitude due to the enemy occupying reverse slope positions in this pattern of uh, defense and attack the defender enjoys preeminence and in case the pla adopts this pattern it's bound to come to grief and will be defeated does the pla have an ace up its sleeve my informed readers are aware that the pla has adopted and adapted to the revolution in military affairs in the last 3 decades they very closely observed gulf war 1 to introduce the rma in china today the pla is second only to the united states in use of high end military technology it has made great advances in the domains of cyber warfare electronic warfare and space warfare it is capable of jamming the adversaries computers and the electromagnetic systems as you are aware modern weapon systems depend to a great extent on use of electronics as well as use of uh, the electromagnetic and uh, the entire electromagnetic spectrum and computers so in future the likely pattern of attack in high altitude will be to accurately locate the enemy defenses using high end technology in form of drones air photographs and other surveillance and reconnaissance means then target them not with suppressive fire of artillery or air but with precision guided munitions this defenses will be systematically destroyed in addition to this the defender will be isolated from its command and control means and its weapon systems will be neutralized through use of electronic and cyber warfare the attacking infantry would clear the defenses in form of mopping up operations i am not talking in terms of uh, i am not uh, i am not fantasizing about this kind of a scenario when i visited china in 
the commandant of one of their war colleges whom I had met while he came on a visit to India as the Director General of Military Training. He showed me the PLA pattern of attack in mountains and this took exactly this form. So we have to be prepared for this kind of an attack. In my next column, I will analyze how the Indian Army with its limitations can still defeat this kind of a attack.